Using Roblox Admin to destroy Adopt Me. These are all of my admin commands that I can go and use. Let's start by growing. Now I have the size of the nursery, but I think I can do better than that. How about double? Ever wondered what it's like to run around Adopt Me when you are the size of the buildings? Then here you go. This is quite fun, actually. Pretty fast as well. How about double again? Now I walk in slow motion. I'm gonna grow until I can touch the top of this castle, which means I think I need to double myself again. That still didn't work. I can literally step on the buildings now. Again? You know what? We're getting there. And now I'm bigger than the island. So I would say that it's a success. I only had to be 70 times the size of what I was before. I have all of these crazy things that I could do. I could clone myself? Yeah, I've always wanted to do that. Look, there is now me on top of me. But what if I clone myself again and again and again and again? Then there we go. I've cloned myself and I may have accidentally equipped a sword, which I confess might have accidentally poked my avatar. You know, if you just walk into the sword accidentally, then, um then it, it kind of makes you oof. I'm sorry, they just accidentally walked into it. And uh, yeah, that's, that's what happens if you clone yourself. I guess I could always just fill a server up with myself and no one would know which one is the real one of me. I can fling someone. Who better to fling than myself? There we go. Um, it, it's just yeeted me halfway across the map. This is the old Adopt Me map, by the way. In case you're wondering, no, I'm not hacking the actual Adopt Me. I just went into Roblox Studio and searched Adopt Me, and someone somehow uploaded the whole map on there. So if it's anyone's fault, then it's theirs. And we're deleting this map straight after anyways. Building tools. I want some of that. I'm gonna write B tools and then me, and now... Oh, I can move stuff? Oh, look at that. That's actually really cool. I don't really know how this works, but say you don't want this tree here, then I can just go and grab it and move it to where I want it to be, including what looks like a mess of my avatar. Can I delete stuff as well? Oh, that's funny, actually. Look, this might be really satisfying just dropping it and watching it kind of crumble. I don't know why I find that satisfying you might call me crazy, but I guess I can mess around and, you know, move the nursery to somewhere that it's not meant to be. Did you ever want the nursery to be in the middle of the sea and you want a giant present here instead? This also means I can make things big or small. So say I want an absolutely tiny tree, then I can do that. Or say I want this tree to be the most ugly squished tree in the world, then as you can see, I can also do that. So there we go, here's the new and improved adoption island. So far, I think this is definitely better than what it used to be. Look at that magic door taking you into my lovely tree. Who wouldn't want to play my game? I can do a disco. Why didn't you let me know earlier? Let's do disco mode. Oh yeah, it seems to be making everything change into all of these crazy different colors. That's kind of fun. Yeah, we're just basically having a disco right now. I like this one. Thanks for watching. I can add fog. I don't know what that does. I, I can make myself jump high. I can make myself run faster. Let's try a speed of one. Wait, that makes me really slow. How about speed 10? That seems slow as well. How about speed 100? 100 times faster than speed one. Wow, you can run around the whole of Adopt Me map eh, very quickly. But what if I was to, you know, times that by 10 again? Speed 1000. Oh yeah, look at that. It breaks the game. You can run from one side of the Adopt Me map to the other in like half a second. As long as you have good aim as this- Oh. What? <laughs> what? As this is so hard to control that your speed is kind of insane. Oh, where am I going? Oh, oh no, this, that did not look good. Now that we've destroyed this map, how about we go back in time to the old Adopt Me? That's right, I just time traveled. And this is what Adopt Me used to look like. This is before pets even existed. 
We just had a nursery. We just had a nursery and all of these other strange things. Actually, the pet store did just come out, but the pets weren't in the game yet. We have a hospital. The ice cream shop, which is practically the same. And then the clothing shop, which I'm sure 90% of players have never seen in their life. But how can we destroy the place? Wait, I can make something neon. What if I make myself neon? Oh yeah, the world's first adopt me neon human. I bet you guys weren't expecting that one. Shine? Is that like mega neon? Only one way to find out. Yeah, this is kind of creepy. I'm like see-through but glowing and orange. I can make someone spin. Let's make myself spin 10 times. That seems kind of boring. Let's make myself spin a hundred times. Oh, well, it kind of looks like I'm about to take off and I'm not sure my computer can even handle the speed that we're going. But what would happen if I press spin 10,000? Yeah, I, I, I think it's just gonna break the game because it can't handle with this. How do I stop spinning? I wanna make everything blurry. Blur level one, didn't do much. Blur level 10? Oh, wait, it actually does make everything blurry. Okay, I wonder what blur level 100 will be. So if you have bad eyesight, then I guess it looks like this. So that's quite sad. Blur level 50, oh dear. But what would happen if I do blur level 100? Can it, can it get worse than 100? Blur level 1000. You ready? I mean, maybe that's the maximum. Maybe blur level 100 is uh, the best that you can get. Blur me level 1. There we go. This is what it's meant to look like compared to whatever we just saw, which really wasn't much. And here's the soccer field, which everyone used to love, but Adopt Me removed. And I still cry about that every day. How about we now teleport to an event? Well, it looks like Christmas has came early. Is this the old Adopt Me Christmas map? What is this? The ice golem was here. There's a shop, a calendar, the present shuffle. Oh, I remember that mini game. That was a fun one. Pet rescue. And then over here was the advent calendar. But what would happen if I uh, destroy it? Only one way to find out by using my infinite build tools. You know, the one where I can just say, oh, I broke it. Great, I, I think we broke the whole map and now I'm kind of like under it. I don't think the building tools work. It's kind of broken on this area. But what was at the top? Was this, I forgot what this pet was. Maybe the reindeer or it could have been a dog. Let us know what this one was. Since we're in the snow, I think I should ice myself. I don't even know what that does, but oh, it does what it says on the tin. It puts you in a block of ice. How do I get out of the ice is the question. I'm kind of stuck here now. Oh, I guess you can thaw them. It's all good. I want sparkles. Oh yeah, look at that. I have some sparkles around me. Wait, where's my body gone? Did I lose it in the ice? Did I get so frozen that I lost all of my body parts, like my legs and my feet? Where did they go? What happened to me? I've, I've lost it all. All I am is a, a floating cookie mask, which is great. And a cape and a tiger. So that's brilliant. Um, I'm surprised this is even working still. I think this one might be my favorite command ever. You ready for it? Yeah, that's right. It makes you sit on a toilet and um, make make a rainbow and then I, I think you get the gist of it. You need to click this video here to see me test viral Roblox TikTok products. I think you're gonna love this video and find the products really interesting. Go and check it out right now.